Hey guys, Anthony here. It's uh, Saturday, um, June 11th, 2016. And in today's preparedness video in my hurricane preparedness series, I'm going to do a quick video just on backup power. Uh, today I'm just showing you my Goal Zero Yeti 150 battery that I primarily use to recharge my uh, small devices like my cell phones and the like. You can see today that this battery is outside here and it's charging uh, both these iPhones here. I think you can see that, that they're charging. That one is charging. And I'm running this instead of off the um, power outlet, the regular house power. I'm running it off of a Boulder 15 solar panel that I just have there in the corner on my balcony on a little uh, artist's easel and it's hooked to the battery. I'm not even getting direct sun and I'm charging the battery. So uh, one of the easy ways to be prepared for a hurricane and for what's needed in the aftermath, like the loss of power, would be for to have something like a Goal Zero uh, Yeti 150. I also have the 400 that I carry in my van and um, that way you can at least charge small devices, cell phones, cameras, um, you know, any, anything that has a, uh, a USB, uh, or even here we have a 12 volt and we have an AC outlet for small uh, devices that, that you may need in the aftermath of the storm. Walkie talkies, two way radios, ham radios, uh, things like that. And then for larger power needs, of course, uh, a generator. Uh, but this uh, one thing I like about solar is the silence of it. Right now I'm outside and there's no noise. My solar devices are charging, the battery's charging, my devices are charging, all without a motor running or giving away too much of uh, you know what I'm doing. And again, I can run these, these panels, I have several of them. I could run them down in the grass below if I have to, put them outside in other places, move them around as the sun moves and um, still generate uh, and charge my battery. So today's video, backup power, very important for hurricane prep and for regular preparedness. Stop that, Charlotte. Charlotte just had uh, surgery yesterday. She was spayed. So she's feeling a little under the weather. And Teddy's on the lookout as usual, sitting on top of the table. And um, so questions, thoughts, comments. Uh, I have several videos on my channel on uh, Goal Zero products that I have and different ways I deploy them in the field. And this is just one from home. And I could deploy the same method in my van where I have two 15 watt panels and the Goal Zero Yeti 400, which is a little bit bigger than this battery here. So I got power at home and on the road um, as I need it. So hurricane prep vid, backup power, extremely important. Uh, I could run also the Yeti Goal Zero uh, lights off this and light up inside my apartment and other items necessary for the aftermath of the storm. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and stay ready. Hey, guys, Anthony here. It's uh, Saturday, June 11th, 2016. Uh, what you're seeing here is just a spot in one of my closets. Uh, as you guys know, I do live in an apartment in an urban area, and it's very difficult uh, for storage and to keep a lot of gear. Uh, so what I have to do is make the best at what I have. And today I just took some time out in one of my closets to uh, take a shelf that was already in here that we had, uh, that I had uh, some clothes on and I'm repurposing it for uh, different types of gear uh, that I have packed away. And I just wanted to show you, you know, some of the options you have in a small area that you can get a lot of a lot of gear in one little spot <clears throat> and uh, how it's organized is important again I have uh, on here some ham radio gear won't go over everything I have a, 
a backup stove, a camping stove that I could run in case of uh, my electric stove in the house fails. I have and I have fuel for that as well. My ham radio, some of my ham radio gear that I'm getting ready to set up uh, to have permanently set up inside the house here, especially this ICOM, this ICOM radio here. And I have this Yezu FT2900 in my van that stays in my van. Um, I took some time recently, organized some first aid gear, which I'm going to do a separate video on. Then I've got a bunch of little packs with first aid equipment that you could kind of grab and go or put in other bags. Uh, some basic medicines uh, labeled here so I could get to them easily. Again, some hygiene items. And then just assorted things that you may need. Uh, there's some uh, elbow or knee pads from Blackhawk. Um, some gear that I keep here. Again, organized in little totes, which is good um, to have. And I just organize them. That way, a lot of these see-through totes, I could just look in real quick and figure out which one it is and grab it. Uh, gun cleaning kits, holsters different things here uh, a small file bin uh, with gear, with some folders in it and so my Excalibur food dehydrator when it's not in use I can keep it right in here on the shelf so uh, and then on the floor I'm still in the process of bringing some stuff in I've got some of my uh, uh, storageable food there the number 10 cans from the um, home storage there from the uh, Mormons and then on the floor there's just a Maxpedition bag over here under here you can't see it too good but I have a medical kit on wheels that I've done videos on that has a ton of medical gear in it and then my ham radio bag let me see if I can light this up I have a small emergency light in here that I keep okay there's my ham radio gear, and there is my medical bag that you see there. Okay, we'll be back. Some other items that you can charge if you have them. Here you see my black diamond headlamp that's rechargeable right from the headlamp with a micro USB that runs to a regular USB right there. So that light is charging as you see the green light blinking. Okay, so that's an important piece of gear to have light, and a headlamp is an excellent source. I have the AC button on here that you can see, and I have my Wotion ham radio plugged in, and that is charging up and scanning at the same time, just to show you um, how important it is to have key gear uh, ready to go in the event of a storm. And here I'm using solar and battery backup uh, to charge my essentials phone, ham radio, slash weather radio, uh, headlamp, and keep in touch with the outside world, all without having to run a generator, a gas generator, and make noise. Which, speaking of that, there is my gas generator right there. The Generac IX2000 in the event that I need it. If I had to, I could grab this generator. I could unfold my Magna Cart here. I could grab my little green bag there with bungees in it. And I could roll this generator out, bring it to my van, transport it do whatever I need to do, also run the power in my RV with that uh, generator if I had to. If I had to evacuate for a storm, took my RV with me, I'd have uh, at least some standalone power uh, if I had to stop and, and set up and uh, hunker down and needed a generator, there it is for me. But I much prefer, if I can, to run off my solar and there's a reason for that and it's stealthy and the ability to stay quiet the same way it is to be able to hook up your bike pack some gear go out and do a recon of the area um, without having to use gas or 
your car or subject your car to maybe fall in debris or to get stuck in a puddle of water or something. Take your bike first, go survey the area. I also have a cart that hooks onto this bike uh, that I'll show you that I keep handy. And um, it could carry some gear as well. Backup water supply is right here. Some extra water there. And I have some more that I'm bringing in today. And then I'll show you my, there is my bike cart that can quickly hook to my bicycle and I could be on my way carrying gear or my pets. And then I also have a foldable shopping cart that I could put gear in and wheel uh, to my van or wheel to another location. All do not depend on gasoline for power, it's just pedal power. On the subject of organization, just a sample here showing you uh, a simple five gallon bucket that you could buy in the uh, hardware store. Uh, as you see here, there's several of them. And I keep food in these buckets and or gear. So let me um, open the lid here with one hand, which is kind of impossible. There we go. Okay. So I have these gamma seal lids that um, you could buy also in most hardware stores. They snap on the bucket, there's a little ring. And then in this particular bucket, I have, I usually, if I have gear in it, I'll line it with a uh, plastic bag. And then my gear would be stacked into that bucket. And again, it could be gear, it could be food. Could be canned food, combination of canned food, uh, dry goods. Here I have radios, shovels, uh, foldable backpacks, uh, face masks, and a bunch of other gear. That would be for another video, but just to show you how much gear you can fit in five-gallon buckets. These two totes, these two five-gallon buckets right here have a boatload of gear in them and they are protected from the elements in the event uh, I had to run, run them outside during the storm and put them in the van. The stuff inside will not get wet. It's easy to transport. Uh, you've got cushioned handles here, you know, all for a, a bin that's maybe three or four bucks. And then the Gamma Seal lids, I think are like seven or eight bucks or 10 bucks, but they're worth their weight in gold because they seal a watertight seal your items that are in that bucket. You know, even uh, things like tools and other supplies, radios, this bucket I have some two-way radios in there. I'm just rearranging some stuff today, taking the day out to uh, you know, go through some of my gear and rearrange and repack and take stock of what I have So, and organize also. So that's why I'm making the video today, just showing you backup power uh, organization, emergency storage, and things that do not take a lot of time and or planning to do, but they do take um, some time in planning. And the time to do it is now before an event happens, whether it's a storm, a disaster, uh, uh, an SHTF, whatever it is, get your prepping done now.